This is the second workout of the week. This is really challenging. Remember, if you're sore from last time, take a day off. Do some light work and then come back at this. Even this week, these uh, last two weeks, take two weeks to do. Like if, uh, if this week you just feel, you know, fuck me. <laughs> Put him on down. I don't know why I was talking. I just wanted to make sure that there's nuts there. All right, guys, welcome to the... <laughs> Second workout, I don't even know. Mm -hmm, that's rough, right? All right, guys, welcome to the second workout of complex week number two. I want you guys to remember to keep your body safe and injury free. We want to make sure that if you're really sore from the workout before or, or day one, take a little bit longer break so your body recovers. Make sure you feel good before this one. Maybe just go for a light jog or hit some push ups, squats, sit ups, or something really light uh, in between these days so you feel ready, okay? But the first movement up is going to be a dumbbell thruster. What you're going to do is you're going to rack up the dumbbell. Start off on the lighter side, just like you would clean it up. Now he's going to add a front squat. He's going to squat down, and as he's coming up, he's going to press the dumbbells over his head. Good. He's going to bring it back down to rack. He's going to squat and press it over his head. Good range of motion. Now we're putting all these together. And good. Put him on down, LJ. You're going to go five total reps. After that, he's going to go to the bar. He's going to go pull-ups five times. Nice strict pull, always good control, overhand grip. If you guys want to go, you can do chin up grip. Good, you're gonna go five reps. After that, he's gonna to touch the ground. He's going to RDL down and walk his hands out. We're gonna go back to those walkouts. RDL, put those hands down on the ground, good control, walk out, and push back. Good. Now, if you want to progress a little bit, add a push up on the bottom. All right, notice the control. He's just not flopping over and just losing control. He's in control of each movement. He's taking his time, pushing that butt back, hip hinging down, walking his hands out in control, elbows tight, and push away. Good. He's going to go five reps of that. Now he's going to go burpee derps. Here it is, ten times. You've seen him all week. Down, out, down, and up. Down, out, down, and up. Good. 10 reps. After that, catch that breath. You have 50 squats. Five, zero. This is going to be tough. You really got to work yourself on this one and do as much as you can. Remember, good form, good range of motion. Take as many breaks as you need to. If you're really experienced, blast through this, but make sure you got good form. Good. Relax. Take a break. Guys, I want you to rest about you know, one to two minutes, maybe longer. In between each one, you're going to get five total sets of all that whole cycle. So that whole cycle, you're going to do five times. And that is the end of your day. Make sure you stretch out, roll out, feel good, peace out. Feel good, peace out. <laughs> and the last and final one.